Okay, just taking a little break from uh, the music festival that I've been attending, and I picked up a bottle of Canadian Limited. I hope the uh, image is not mirrored as it is in this uh, um, in the phone, to my view. But Canadian Limited, Canadian whiskey with natural flavors. It cost $9.99 plus about $8.50 in taxes U.S. here in Washington State. And I've never seen this before. And it says, bottled by Fleischmann Distilling Company, Owensboro, Kentucky. 40% alcohol by volume. 80 proof. And it, it's bottled, but it says Canadian, so... I guess it's from Canada originally, whatever's in it. So, Canadian whiskey with natural flavors. Natural what flavors, I don't know. Let's just pour a little dram. I'm buying whiskey here in Washington State, mainly to drink, rather than to taste. So I have this plastic cup that I got at the whiskey festival out of which I've been drinking this one here I'll leave it in the fridge um, it's the black velvet the American version of black velvet and the reason I leave it in the fridge is so that when I fill my little canteen uh, I have one of these things here When I fill this up, I can feel the cold rising to the top, and when the cold reaches the top, then I know I'm going to spill if I pour any more. So, because I did spill a little bit already, so I don't want to spill any more. So, black velvet. Okay, this one I got for exactly $11.95. It's a whole liter, and I got that on the ferry, duty-free. So, a whole liter of... 40% alcohol by volume Canadian whiskey for $11.95. No tax. This one here cost me, what did I say, $8.50 and $9.99. So $18 uh, or just a little over $18 at the, uh, at the liquor store nearby. I was also going to get myself um, a bottle of... Uh, 21 year old old Pultney, but the price for the 21 year old old Pultney is $279 US plus tax, and tax is another 10 bucks or so, Washington state tax. It's the same amount of tax on any 750 mil bottle. So, like, okay, 850 plus 279, so. 287.50 approximately. Now, if you convert that to Canadian dollars, it's almost $400. I'm not paying $400 for a, a whiskey. I paid uh, the most I ever paid for a whiskey was $275, including tax, and that wasn't worth it. It was the uh, Sherry Solist from uh, Cavill. So that's our Canadian Limited now. Let's, let's, I'm not used to doing th this thing, this kind of thing with this kind of glass because I already spilt a little bit here. But Yeah. This is not the right glass for nosing, but why am I nosing this cheap stuff anyway? Yeah. Getting a little bit of toffee and a little bit of rye. A little bit of rye. Mm. 
not much else. Maybe we should let it open up. Let's see what it tastes like. Yesterday when I opened this black velvet, it tasted pretty harsh, but today it tasted nice. Well, maybe because I was traveling and my mouth was dry. I've been drinking, well, today I had about half of what's missing here. So about 200, 250 mils. And now it's 6 in the evening and I started drinking about, what time was it? I guess 11 in the morning. Maybe a bit later than that. The first show was at noon. And now it's 6 and... Um, the people that are playing at the music festival right now, I've seen them already. I've seen them uh, earlier today and last night. So I'm going to go catch some more acts later on in, in a couple hours. Okay, well, that's nose again. natural flavors of some kind. Oh wait, there's a bunch of writing on this on here. Uh, government warning. Okay, that's the Surgeon General's warning. We love to hear from our customers. Oh, from Sazerac. Well, there you go. Put that in small writing. Sazerac. Hmm. This reminds me of other Canadian whiskeys with natural flavor. I did one last year. I think it was called Canadian Hunter. This reminds me of that. There's um, a lot of a lot of bitterness under which there's a tiny little bit of toffee and caramel. Um, I'm not getting, well, maybe there's a bit of vanilla in there, but mostly what I'm getting, surprisingly enough, even though it's 40% alcohol, I'm getting alcohol burn. Okay. Second sip is better. It's caramel, there's toffee, there's some vanilla. There's um, some bitterness on the short finish that, of course, doesn't last very long. And uh, that's about it. It's not designed to taste great. It's designed to give you a buzz. And I pretty much guarantee that that's what's going to happen. So I don't know if I'm going to do another one of these... Um, Canadian whiskey in uh, in the U.S. that I can't get in Canada. Um, the Black Velvet I can get in Canada. I think the Canadian one is a little bit uh, a little bit better tasting. Um, don't know if I'm gonna bring any of this stuff back and get a Mickey. I also bought a bottle of Westland, uh, it's their single malt, Westland single malt, and that was $65 plus of course the $850 or so tax, so $73, $74 US. That's like 100 Canadian, and uh, that's the one I'm going to bring home. Like I said, I was going to get the old Pultney 21, but I wasn't going to spend 400 Canadian on a bottle of whiskey. The, it, it was a nice dream, you know, but I had to pop that bubble. Anyway, sláinte Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>